Jessica Krishna good morning let's start the session close the eyes keep the hands in dhyan mudra back straight relax the shoulders we will chant three long omkars followed by the opening prayer Make them warm. 
Press warm hands over the eyes and face. Open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down and gently open the eyes. Welcome everyone to the Saturday morning class. Okay, we'll start the upper body warm up first, waist and above. Let me know this music, the meditation music, if it is too loud. If it bothers you, let me know. Alternate, up and down. We'll try to cover all the body parts, muscles, joints, before we start into the stretches. Fist and release. Keep thumbs inside, make tight fist. Spread the fingers apart when we release. Now roll the fist forward few times. Try to keep the elbows straight and a reverse direction. Now swing the folded arms up. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. Try to connect all the fingers together over the shoulders, spread them apart on the floor. Few times sideways. Now hold all the fingers together and circle the folded elbows with the biggest rotation possible inhale upward exhale downward elbows touch once every rotation in front and reverse the direction and relax now extend both hands sideways turn the palms 90 degree upward and circle the palms around the shoulders. Again, try to keep the elbows straight, small circles, and slow, not too fast. Try to make the perfect 360 degree circles and reverse the direction. And relax. Now inhale, raise both hands up. We will twist the upper body to the one side, align the chin with the shoulder, keep pushing the knee forward. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the other side. Inhale, come back. We will repeat. Try to keep the trunk vertical, let the spine twist, come back, complete onto the second side. Come back and we will interlock the fingers, press the palms over the forehead, inhale, hold the breath as we push the forehead and palms against each other. Fill some stretches into the neck muscles, release the breath, release the palms from back of the head. Try to push the elbows towards back. One more time. Then side of the head. Do twice alternatively, both the sides and do with breath coordination.
Now look straight at the level of the eyes. Deep inhale. Try to keep the trunk and legs completely still, just head and neck. As we exhale, turn the head onto the right side. Align the chin with the right shoulder. Look at the farthest point at the back. Hold the breath out about five seconds. Inhale, come back. Exhale, onto the second side. Inhale, come back. We will repeat. Feel the twist, the stretches into the neck muscles. Come back and complete onto the second side. Come back. A couple inhale, exhale here. Next inhalation, we will turn the head upward. Look right over the head. Fully exhale. Look down, chin at the chest. Inhale up. Try to keep the trunk vertical back straight while doing all these sitting postures. Exhale. Down. Then we're gonna inhale in circular fashion, turn the head into the right and up. From up, exhale, onto the left. <coughs> and head down chin again at the chest second circle if you have neck injury neck pain do it very slowly or you can avoid it then reverse the direction try to do the slow circles and steady Okay, next, raise both hands up, hold them and grab the elbows to the opposite side. Deep inhale, as we exhale, just pull both the upper arm onto the one side. We can just pull the one elbow onto the one side. Inhale, come back. As we exhale, onto the other side, till the pull stretches into the upper arm. Come back, second time. and complete onto the second side. As we inhale, extend both hands sideways. Drop the palms vertically down on the floor wherever it reaches. Inhale, raise the other hand up. As we exhale, bend towards one side. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Make sure the knee stays down. And we keep pressing the other palm towards the floor. Inhale, come back. Exhale, pull to the second side. We can push the palm and folded elbow onto the floor so we can have the curvature into the curve into the middle of the trunk. Second time. Come back and complete onto the second side. back and next we will do waist and below bring both palms beside the hips legs are fully grounded knees are straight we can lean slightly forward as we pull the toes towards the body hold for few seconds feel some stretches into the calf muscles knee joints ankle joints now squeeze and release all the toes can do all ten together or you can do in waves. Now push it forward as we inhale, bring them back as we exhale, do few times, inhale forward, exhale back. Then few times alternate, one pull, one push. Now hold the heels together, toes together, circle the toes around the heels. Try to make the biggest circle possible. 
and reverse the direction. Relax the legs. Now fold at the right knee. Grab the lower right leg and we will do Shishu Padanasan. As we inhale, pull the folded right leg all the way towards the right. Feel the extension into the right hip joint. Exhale. Bring the foot back onto the left. Inhale towards the right. Exhale back. Third time. And rest the right foot onto the left thigh. Interlock the left hand fingers with the right toes. Keep on pressing the right knee down to the floor. Left leg remains straight. Left toes pointing out towards the front wall. Create the spring action. Make the hip joint more flexible. Increase the blood circulation. Now bring the knee to the chin. Inhale, push it down to the floor. Hold there for a couple of seconds. Exhale, bring knee to the chin. Couple more times onto the right side. Also, each time when we press the knee down, make sure our trunk also remains straight. Then, straighten the right leg and hold at the left knee. Grab the lower left leg. As we inhale, push the left folded leg all the way towards the left. Exhale, bring it towards the right. Inhale towards left, exhale back and third time now gently rest left foot onto the right thigh interlock the left toes with right hand fingers keep on pressing the left knee down to the floor right knee straight, right toes pointing towards the front wall Keep on pressing the left knee. Now, <clears throat> the left knee at the chin. Inhale, press it down. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Exhale, bring knee to the chin. Couple more times. Continuing with the hip opening activities, Titliyasan butterfly pose, interlock the fingers, place them over the toes, thumbs go directly under the big toes, inhale, raise both knees all the way up, exhale, push them down, inhale all the way up, exhale down, then we can speed the flapping up and down, just like butterfly wings. Try to remember to keep awareness at whichever body part is in action. So currently we are doing butterfly pose. So we'll keep our awareness into the hip joints. Specifically, also we can focus on the knees, legs. But mainly whatever body part is more being used, we should keep our awareness there. Now roll the body side by side, bring the knees all the way down to the floor and we push the body towards the heels. Heels stay wherever they are. So, heels are very close to the perineum now. Keep pressing the knees down to the floor, hold the toes tightly, keep the back straight, close the eyes and observe the stretches into the hip joints. Now deeply inhale, hold the breath in lower abdomen and now observe the difference in the stretches. In about 7 seconds you can breathe out, then breathe in again, but make sure during the whole time the back will remain straight and we are keep applying the pressure to the knees going down. So do 2-3 two to three more rounds, do with breath coordination, do with your own pace. 
सेवन सेकेंड इच टाइम दिस इज भद्रासन और भद्रासन complete the last round and once you're done then we can roll the body side by side again and keep pushing the body away from the hills make some space in between the hills and the perineum so about one foot distance would be good enough now hold the toes tightly again align the back and head deep inhale as we exhale bend down we are doing bhadra konasan try to bring the forehead onto the toes inhale come back second time try to pull the trunk away from the hips deep inhale as we deep exhale bend down try to push the lower legs back so we can bring our upper body even little further see if we can bring our chain on to the toes for some people may be being beyond the toes we can stay a little longer in exhalation we can keep on pressing the head and trunk down next inhalation come back up and sit in a cross leg you can sit into siddhasan swastikasan sukhasan padmasan <coughs> whichever cross leg posture that you feel comfortable with but try to keep the back straight spine erect bring both hands on a side we will do parvatasan you can close the eyes keep full awareness on the breathing and the movements of the hands as we breathe breathe in bring both hands together in front of the chest at anahata chakra exhale inhale again raise both hands up rest them onto the top of the head at sahasrara chakra crown of the head exhale here Now deeply inhale and extend both hands all the way up over the head so both hands are still align both the palms are aligned we can inhale exhale in a pose but as soon as we start lowering the hands we should do the longer exhalation just one single exhalation we can bring the hands on head chest and all the way down so let's do two more times do with breath coordination with full awareness do with your own pace just two times Okay, once done then bring <coughs> both the hands in dhyan mudra relax the shoulders back straight you can close the eyes you can do deep breath in and deep breath out 
keep the hundred percent awareness on breathing only. Try to observe how each breath are different. We are trying to fill up all the three lobes of the lungs and empty them. And no need to use any force, no need to hold the breath, just deeply, slowly inhale and deeply, slowly exhale. As we inhale, our stomach will pop out. As we exhale, stomach will shrink. Slowly open the eyes, breathe in and out normal. So any variation of the breathing that has a deep breath in and deep breath, deep breath out, those so are the variation of the Bhastrika Pranayam. Next we will do Surya Vedana Pranayam. Make a Vishnu Mudra on right hand, inhale on right and exhale on right. So we will do six count, inhale on right, then we will hold the breath for seven count and with eight counts we will breathe out so six seven and eight and one way only so breathe in one two three four five six then hold one two three four five six seven and breathe out on left one two three four five six seven eight Again, inhale on right on six count. So keep on doing that. and complete the last round next we will do kapalbhati pranayam bring both hands into vayu mudra roll first fingertip into root of thumb relax both the hands rest them we will do deep inhalation then in multiple exhalation exhale 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 forcefully we will breathe out then again we will deeply inhale and then multiple exhalation we will exhale. Frequency we can keep as per our comfort level.
Okay, breathe in and out normal. Bring the body into Sambhavi Mudra. Tilt the head up. Then still the body completely. Keep awareness in between the eyebrows. Let energy sink into the body. Let the vibrations come down. Come back. And we will do uh, Kapalbhati Pranayam again, but this time will be a different variation of the Kapalbhati Pranayam. So our goal is to actively exhale and each time let the body get some air back. So we are not like filling up like, like so we are doing pumping. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. But inhale will be automatic by the body. Exhale will be our full wish with full attention, full force. Again, frequency you can keep as per your comfort level. Bring it down then. Or I can keep this device away. How about now? Is better? Nati Zamblatu, Koi Kesa Nati Zamblatu. Bring both legs like a couple feet away. With support of the palms, we can just tilt the body slightly back and roll the toes in and out. Try to keep the knees straight so we can feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. Okay, now stop rolling in and out. We can extend both feet apart. We will do Upavishta Konasan, ground, legs are fully grounded, knees straight, inhale, raise both hands up, look up, fully exhale, bend down, grab the feet left to left, right to right, and try to push the trunk further down. Inhale, come back up, second time, little bit longer duration. Maybe some people able to touch the forehead onto the floor. If not, maybe you can try each exhale, just little by little. Inhale, come back up, <coughs> exhale, grab the big toe with the opposite side hand, inhale, raise the other hand up, look into the ceiling through the palm which is up, five, six, seven, both hands down, inhale, both hands up, exhale onto the other side, inhale, raise the other hand up, look into the ceiling through the palm which is up, five, six, seven, come back. We will do second time, inhale both hands up, slightly differently, grab the opposite side big toe and we can push the hand out towards the back, but try to keep the palm at the shoulder level and keep looking back through the palm. Inhale, come back, again onto the second side, 
So now swinging the other hand at the back and we are looking back through the palm. Back and hold at the right knee, bring the right heel at the perineum, turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the left leg, inhale, raise both hands up, look up, fully exhale, bend down, grab the left foot with both hands equally, forehead onto the left knee. Inhale, come back up. Janu Sirsasan, second time, longer duration. You can inhale, exhale, normal. Each exhalation, we can keep on pressing the head and trunk further down. Inhale, come back and we will switch onto the second side. Deep breathe in, both hands up, look up. Deep breath out while we bend down. Grab the right foot equally with both the hands. Forehead onto the right knee. Inhale, come back up. Second time, same side, longer duration. Come back, we will bring both the legs in the front, align them, we will do Paschimottanasana, inhale, raise both hands up, look up, we can lean slightly back, fully exhale, bend forward and down, tuck the stomach in, that means apply the Uddhyan Band, grab the feet and try to keep pushing the trunk and head further down. Hold the pressure until we can hold the breath out. And during the whole time, we should keep our stomach shrink inward. Second time. Inhale, come back and we will do compl complementary pose, Purva Uttarasan, <clears throat> support of both the palms at the back. You can do with the folded knees if you are able to do with the straight leg, otherwise keep the knees straight. Next inhalation, lift the trunk up, push the toes down onto the floor and bring the head down at the back, look into the back wall. Try to hold the trunk or the lower back as high as possible. Body will assume one straight line at the back. Very slowly, we can bring the body back onto the floor, into the L shape, pole pose or dandasan. We'll do marichayasan. Hold at the right knee, bring the right feet few inches away from the left knee. Inhale, raise the right hand. Exhale, bend forward and bring the right hand inside out of the right knee. Left hand will go directly at the back and comes down towards the right. And connect both the hands. Once we make a good connection, make sure our trunk remains straight, vertical. 
left leg remains straight, left toes pointing towards the front wall. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, push the trunk forward and try to bend down as much as possible. Inhale, come back and slowly transition towards the left side. Marichi Asana. So we can keep the foot slightly away from the other knee. So there is a greater chance of connecting both the hands together. Inhale, exhale, normal. Now deep inhale. Deep exhale. And we push the trunk forward and down. So we can feel that our left thigh is pressed again the lower left abdomen. Come back. So left side there is a barrel. In English it called spleen. S-P-L-E-E-N. Spleen. Responsible for our immunity system. So that get activated. So that was Marichi Asan. And next we can sit into Gomukhasan. I think uh, last session we probably skipped that pose. Try to keep both knees as close as possible on top of each other. If we need to adjust the body, we can lift the upper body up slightly. We can move around the hills whichever side knee is up raise that side hand up even with the help of other hand we can push it down a little bit so there is a greater chance of connecting both the hands at the back if we still have difficulty we can use the cloth napkin some rope yoga strap belt anything once we make both hands good connection then make sure the trunk is straight so head neck trunk, knees, they all in one vertical line. Deep inhale, as we deep exhale, and if you can bend down, try to bring the forehead onto the knees. Over here also we can tuck the stomach in, so there is a greater chance that we can bring our forehead onto the knees. Come back, and we can switch onto the second side. <coughs> Okay. And you can also close the eyes and you can rotate the awareness from head to toes, toes to head and observe that what kind of stretches each of the body parts has. Or you can just dip inhale, exhale and bend down, bring the forehead onto the knees, tuck the stomach in, inhale come back and release both the hands and we can sit into Vajrasana next. So there was a, another comment also regarding the music that he said that he don't like this type of music. So now there are so many varieties, right? All different kind of music. So if you open up into the forum, then it will be really hard. So we will try. I will. I will. Today I just setting up the another device in a rush or lack of time. But I will try to find some good music. It might have some Indian musical base. You know, it might have some. Uh, uh, the tabla beats and like you know those kind of things if I find and we will try to use them but I was worried about the volume I don't want to keep it too high and again um, I agree with that comment it could be distracting it was for me too um, when I used first time last year when I tried when a couple of attendees wanted to have the music I tried myself and I wasn't focusing myself, I was keep mixing up the instructions because you know my mind wasn't used to and keep on going on to the music but now we are okay so at least we can at least as an instructor I can have it now so it doesn't 
much bother me and I hope you guys too will start uh, getting used to but music is really really good uh, music is good and second time is good volume second time means now yeah someone else wrote a comment okay so right now it's good perfect because I keep the device away from the microphone um, okay so we'll do that but I feel music is good because like when I'm not talking there is still some something going on so it is it is better to have some kind of soothing music but I agree with the first comment too I'll find some better music all right let's sit in Virasan for a few seconds and try to fill some extensive stretches onto the hamstring knee joints thigh muscles And from Virasan come back to Vajrasan. And we will do Mandukasan separate the knees few inches apart, extend both hands forward. Keep the thumbs inside, make tight fist, deep breath in, hold the breath. Then place top of the fist in between the ribcage and navel, forcefully exhale. And without leaving the heels, bend down, push the trunk and head as down as possible when we can no longer push the trunk down we can hold the trunk there and tilt the head up inhale come back second round same sequence tight fist deep breath in hold then place the top of the fist fully exhale forcefully and bend down and tilt the head up Inhale, come back up. Next, we'll do complementary pose. So, from if we are in Vajrasan, and if we go into this pose, it's going to be Supta Vajrasan. Or if you slide the heel out and sit in Virasan, then if you do the pose, then it's going to be Supta Virasan. But in either way, the instructions are same with the help of the palms and folded elbows. Let the upper body completely. Lay down onto the floor, back of the head on the floor. We can raise both hands up. We can place the palms on top of the thighs. Make sure the knees stay on the ground. Relax the lower back. Relax the hip joints. Relax the knees. So whenever we need to come out of the pose, just grab the ankles, push the elbows onto the floor and bring the body up back either Virasan or Vajrasan, whatever pose we started with. Then we can separate both the knees far out. Inhale, raise both hands up, biceps at the ear. As we exhale, bend down slowly, bring both palms onto the floor slowly, walk them out and try to bring the chin and chest onto the floor. Our heels and hips are still touching each other. Now relax the lower back, relax the shoulders, deep breath in and deep breath out. Next inhalation, raise the head up and start walking hands towards the body and let the trunk and head rise completely vertical and then we will go on the knees. We will do full camel pose, so separate the knees and fit 
same distance as the shoulder width in circular fashion inhale bring the right hand up and down rest it onto the right heel inhale and exhale as we right raise the left hand up and down in circular fashion rest it onto the left heel now drop the head at the back look into the back wall as we keep pushing the pelvis forward so hold these two forces pushing the pelvis forward and dropping the head down as much as possible 10 9 8 you can make sure or you can even increase the intensity even further 4 3 2 1 very slowly come out of the pose one hand at a time and straighten the trunk at the last now bring both hands onto the floor forward bending make sure the wrist joints are vertically under the shoulders and knees are vertically under the hip joints look straight into the front wall deep inhale as we also try to push the lower back up try to make the spine downward arch fully exhale look at the navel try to make the spine upward arch sit cat and cow pose do three to four times do with your own pace do with breath coordination Okay, then come back, stay into the tabletop pose, breathe in and out normal. Next we will do tiger pose. Next inhalation, kick the right foot back, right toes pointing towards back wall, keep looking up into the front wall, relax the lower back, try to keep the knee straight and the leg parallel to the floor. With next inhalation, Without dropping the knee down, we can just fold the knee at the 90 degree. Now the right toes pointing toward the ceiling, we can quickly turn around and make sure that our posture is correct. Our leg is not tilted left or right. Continue looking into the front wall, continue relaxing the lower back. Inhale, exhale normal. Next inhalation, raise the left hand up and grab the right foot and pull the right leg up as high as possible. With next exhalation, slowly bring the left palm and right knee back onto the floor. Inhale, exhale normal into the tabletop pose. With next inhalation, kick the left foot back, left toes pointing towards back, left knee straight, left leg remain parallel to the floor. Continue looking up into the straight wall. Relax the lower back. Inhale, exhale normal. With next inhalation, hold the right knee at 90 degree without dropping it so now the left toes pointing towards the ceiling quickly turn around and make sure the pose is correct with next inhalation raise the right hand up grab the left foot and pull the left leg up as high as possible while keep looking into the front wall up as high as possible. The next exhalation, slowly bring the left knee and right palm back onto the floor and come back onto the knees. We will do the simple gate pose. 
It's just simple standard Parikasan gate pose. Extend the right leg out. With next inhalation, raise the left hand up. Exhale. Bend towards the right side. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Keep sliding the right hand along with the right leg. Reach out to the right ankle or you can go further. Inhale, come back. And on to the second side. Keep looking up into the ceiling or at least corner of the ceiling. Come back. And then we will stand up. We will go on the toes and heels couple of times. So shift the weight. And then we can interlock the fingers, raise both palms up, upside down. Tadasan, as we inhale, go on the toes. Keep stretching the whole body upward. Exhale, down, feet flat on the floor. Second time, inhale up, go on the toes. Exhale down. Then we will walk on the hills, walk two circles on the hills and then we will walk two circles on the toes but around the mat. Don't go in a backyard. Okay, separate the feet far apart. So, we will do Kati Chakrasan with inhale exhale. We will just swing both the hands and over here, the, this palm here, we are just going to push it. So that will help us twisting. So fully exhale when we are looking back. Inhale and other, other way, other side. Try to stay in a pose at least three seconds while we look back and do two more times. Okay. Now bring both hands on sideways. Star position, inhale. As we exhale, we will do Trikonasan, triangle pose. So one hand will go onto the floor. We can touch the toes on the floor and other palm will go vertically up. Look into the ceiling through the palm which is up. Inhale, come back. Exhale, onto the second side. Keep looking up directly over the head into the ceiling, both arms are in one vertical line, elbows straight and both knees are straight. Come back. We will do second time, same pose. At least seven seconds, five, six, seven. Come back. Second side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back. Next, we will do twisted triangle. Exhale, grab the big toe with opposite side hand. Other hand will go just 90 degree up, not vertical, but 90 degree. Look through the palm, which is up. Inhale, come back. Exhale, 
second side inhale come back second time same pose second time i'm in second side come back and we will do revolving triangle this time parivrutta trikonasan so hand will go outward of the ankle and other hand will go vertically up look straight into the ceiling through the thumb which is up both knee straight both elbow straight 5 6 7 come back on to the second side come back and second time come back and complete onto the second side and come back both feet together and move in front of the mat relax for few seconds while i set up the surya namaskar mantra there are a couple of comments sometime while poses i don't um yeah i don't look at the comment because i need to click and read it right so while in, while in pose i don't do that okay um Actually I have a we can do four surya namaskars but slight the other version of that let's see if i made it and if i have it handy Yeah, roll the shoulders back and down. Om Shri Sa 
ಸವಿತೃ ಸೂರ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ನಮ ಮಿತ್ರಾಯ ನಮ ಓವಯೇ ನಮ ಸೂರ್ಯಾಯ ನಮ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಪೋಸ್ ಓರ್ ಮಲಾಸನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ದ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಪಾಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪ್ and we can also try to separate the knees out our heels and toes should be flat on a floor and we can come back and let's do balancing pose we'll do vrikshasan tree pose very slowly get into the pose yeah during off time we should always try to stay longer but for because of the time constraint in session we try not to stay we are unable to stay for too long each of the poses so if we are in this pose three pose we can also try to stretch our body as high as possible come back and the next we will do uttishta hasta padangustasana slowly we can grab the big toe with first two fingers on the same side hand we can extend the leg out in a front first try to straighten the knee then we can roll the leg on the side way we can raise the other hand up or you can keep it at the waist is your choice for counterbalance we can keep it out 
and if we still have the balance we can look onto the opposite side and if we still have the balance we can bring the leg front and bring it down yeah I see some people very good progress even they can see in the reverse direction too slowly we can transition to the second side Great. So, as much as how much we can do, that is not important. But consistency doing the thing is important. And that will automatically um, will progress on that. Okay, let's do Pashtim uh, Namaskar. Bring both hands at the back, align them, fingertips pointing down. Then we can turn them upward and push them up as high as possible we can intertwine just the thumbs separate the pit out deep inhale turn the upper body towards one leg exhale bend down bring the forehead onto the knee inhale up exhale onto the second side Inhale up, now interlock the fingers, roll the shoulders back and down, deep inhale, as we deep exhale, bend down in front and raise both hands up away from the body, try to keep the knees straight, elbow straight and let the trunk and head go down, don't try to resist, let them go on the gravity. Inhale, come back up and bend backward. And come back. All right. Now we can lay down on a stomach. First 10 seconds, completely relax in a makarasan, crocodile pose. Side of the head rested onto the folded arms. Both legs are away from each other, toes pointing out. But most important thing is don't try to hold any body part muscle. Let them be relaxed. Come back and we will do Viparita Navkasan or Superman pose. Both hands over the head extended out toes pointed back with next inhalation raise the hands head chest chin up pull both legs up and keep on pulling them up both hands up look into the front wall as high as possible five four three two one and bring the body back into makarasan crocodile pose for 10 seconds Next we will do Dhanurasan, go pose, the variation, hold at both the knees and cross the legs. So now grab right to left and left to right ankles. Next inhalation, raise the head, chest chin up and pull both legs up, hold them up as high as possible, continue looking up into the front wall. Let the body get some rocking movements naturally or voluntarily as we breathe in and out. It will massage the internal organs into the lower abdomen. Five, four, three, two, one. Very slowly bring the body back into Makarasan for 10 seconds.
Next we will turn around, lay down on the back. And we will do Naukasan. Just raise the legs and trunk 30 degree up over the floor, both hands up, up to the point so we can see the toenails through the fingernails. But elbow straight, knee straight. Slowly come down back onto the floor. When you do this pose offline yourself, then try to stay in pose until body starts shaking. Shavasana 10 seconds and after that we will do Pavan Muktasan with both the legs together. Bring both feet together, hold at the knees, grab both the lower legs and both the hands. Deep inhale, as we deep exhale, raise the head up and bring the face to the knees and knees to the face and hold them together as long as we can hold the breath out. And we inhale, bring back of the head onto the floor and slowly we can just roll the body side by side. We still hold, hold at the folded legs, massage the spine and we can just go front and back, rock. And straighten the legs, relax in Shavasana 10 seconds. Next we will do inversion, if you are able to do inversion, then you just go directly into the Matsyasan, fish pose. And the inversion we will be doing is a bridge pose or the Chakrasan. Whichever the one you are able to do, either you can do bridge pose or you can do Chakrasan. Bridge pose is grabbing both the ankles, both hands and lift the lower back up. Or even we can bring our hands under the lower back to raise it up as high as possible. The people who are doing Chakrasan or the wheel pose, they also stay there probably in 10-15 seconds, come back and rest in a Shavasana for 10 seconds. Others continue staying into the fish pose, Matsyasan. And in about 20 seconds, we will start the Yoga Nidra audio. So now everybody should be get into the Matsyasan. Even the people who are doing inversions, they are also doing the Matsyasana now, fish pose, you can do with folded legs or you can do with the straight legs. And in next 10 seconds, come back into the Shavasana pose. You can make any final movements, final arrangement. For the yoga nidra, you can cover yourself up, you can turn the lights down if you like. Let's follow the instructions word by word. If you miss any instruction at some point, if mind wondering something else, then as soon as you realize, you don't need to worry, just bring back to wherever it is and just continue following from that part. About गहरी सांसें लेना शुरू करें गहरी सांस अंदर और बाहर एक बार फिर से गहरी सांस अंदर 
और बाहर पुनः एक बार अंदर आती हुई सांस आपको ताजगी दे रही है शक्ति दे रही है और बाहर जाती हुई सांस आपके तनाव टेंशन तकलीफों को आपसे दूर ले जा रही है और अब आपका मन शांत तो होने लगा है आसपास के आवाजों के साक्षी बनिए सिर्फ उनको सुनना है एक साक्षी भाव और अब धीरे धीरे आपका शरीर ढीला पड़ने लगा है और जो जो आपका शरीर ढीला पड़ रहा है आपका मन शांत तो होने लगा है जो भी हो रहा है उसको होने दें किसी भी अनुभव को जज ना करें अब अपनी चेतना को अपने पैर की उंगलियों पे ले जाएं, लेफ्ट टोस एंड राइट टोस उसको अपने मन की आंखों से देखें महसूस करें और ढीला छोड़ें अब अपने ध्यान को अपने दोनों एंकल्स या टखनों पे ले जाएं, एंकल में मौजूद तनाव को टेंशन को महसूस करें और ढीला छोड़ें आपके दोनों टखने विश्राम कर रहे हैं अब अपनी चेतना को धीरे से अपने दोनों पिंडलियों या काफ मसल्स पे ले जाएं वहां की संवेदनाओं के साक्षी बनिए और धीरे से दोनों पिंडलियों को ढीला छोड़ें शिथिल करें आपके घुटने के नीचे का भाग शिथिल हो चुका है ढीला हो चुका है रिलैक्स हो चुका है इस विश्राम को अपने अंदर अनुभव करिए अपनी चेतना को अब अपनी दोनों जांघों पर ले जाएं, लेफ्ट थाई एंड राइट थाई वहां की मांसपेशियों को महसूस करें वहां मौजूद टेंशन को स्ट्रेस को देखें और ढीला छोड़ें दोनों जांग रिलैक्स हो चुके हैं शिथिल हो चुके हैं अब अपनी चेतना को दोनों कूल्हों के ऊपर ले जाएं, लेफ्ट हिप एंड द राइट हिप एंड रिलैक्स द मसल्स ऑफ योर हिप्स एंड थाइस कूल्हे की मांसपेशियां ढीली हो रही हैं रिलैक्स हो रही हैं अब अपनी चेतना को अपने पेट और कमर के निचले हिस्से पे ले जाएं, उसको महसूस करें देखें और ढीला छोड़ें अब अपनी चेतना को अपनी छाती पर लाइए छाती की मांसपेशियों को ढीला छोड़ें आराम दें विश्राम दें अब अपनी चेतना को पीठ के ऊपरी हिस्से पे लाइए वहां मौजूद तनाव के साक्षी बने उसको देखें 
और ढीला छोड़ें पूरा शरीर ढीला हो रहा है रिलैक्स्ड हो रहा है और आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता चला जा रहा है इस विश्राम के साक्षी बनिए अब अपनी चेतना को अपने दोनों कंधे लेफ्ट शोल्डर एंड द राइट शोल्डर पर लाएं दोनों कंधे विश्राम कर रहे हैं ढीले हो रहे हैं रिलैक्स हो रहे हैं अपने ध्यान को अब अपनी दाएं बाह और बाईं बाह के ऊपर ले जाएं। पुट योर अटेंशन ऑन लेफ्ट आर्म एंड राइट आर्म देखें महसूस करें ढीला छोड़ें हाथ की उंगलियों को भी ढीला छोड़ें रिलैक्स करने दें और जो जो आपकी मांसपेशिया रिलैक्स कर रही हैं आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में डीप रिलैक्सेशन में उतरता चला जा रहा है अब अपने ध्यान को अपने गर्दन के ऊपर ले जाएं, गर्दन में मौजूद तनाव को टेंशन को महसूस करें और गर्दन के रेशे रेशे को ढीला छोड़ें आराम करने दें आप एक गहन विश्राम में उतरते जा रहे हैं जो विचार आए उन विचारों को आने दें उससे कोई लड़ाई नहीं करनी उससे कोई झगड़ा नहीं करना अपनी चेतना को अपने चेहरे के ऊपर ले जाएं, दाई आंख बाई आंख ऊपर का होठ नीचे का होठ आपके गाल और संपूर्ण चेहरा चेहरे के सारे मांसपेशियों को विश्राम करने दें ढीला छोड़ें और अब आप अपनी चेतना को सिर के पिछले हिस्से पे ले जाएं और सिर के पिछले हिस्से को पूरी तरह से ढीला छोड़ें रिलैक्स करें ज्यो ज्यो आपका शरीर रिलैक्स हो रहा है आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता चला जा रहा है और ज्यो ज्यो आपका मन गहन विश्राम में जा रहा है आपके शरीर की मांसपेशियां और शिथिल हो रही हैं और ढीली पड़ रही हैं संपूर्ण बायां पैर शिथिल हो चुका है संपूर्ण दायां पैर रिलैक्स्ड हो चुका है ढीला पड़ चुका है पेट छाती की मांसपेशियां आराम कर रही हैं विश्राम कर रही हैं संपूर्ण पीठ की मांसपेशियां ढीली पड़ रही हैं रिलैक्स्ड पड़ रही हैं गर्दन विश्राम कर रहा है चेहरा ढीला पड़ रहा है सिर का हिस्सा पूरी तरह से शिथिल हो चुका है अब आप किसी ऐसी जगह को इमेजिन करें जहां पे कि आप आराम से विश्राम कर सकते हैं कि कोई बीच हो सकता है समंदर का किनारा हो सकता है या ये कोई गार्डन हो सकता है वहां आराम से लेट जाए इमेजिन करिए कि आप एक गार्डन में लेटे हुए हैं और यहां की ताजी हवा 
आपको और विश्राम दे रही है तितलिया आपके आसपास उड़ रही हैं और जब आप इनको देखते हैं तो आपका मन शांत हो रहा है ठंडी हवा के झोंके आपके शरीर को एक मसाज दे रहे हैं नरम नरम घासों को अपने शरीर से छूते हुए महसूस करें आप इस टेम्परेचर को इंजॉय कर रहे हैं और आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता जा रहा है जो भी तनाव आपके शरीर में था इमेजिन करिए वो भाप की तरह आपके शरीर से उड़ता जा रहा है और आपका शरीर और ढीला पड़ रहा है आपका मन और शांत हो रहा है इस स्टेट में मैं आपको कुछ सजेशंस देता हूं अपने मन में पूरे कन्विक्शन के साथ पूरी दृढ़ता के साथ पूरी मजबूती के साथ ये दोहराएं कि मैं शक्तिशाली हूं आई एम पावरफुल मैं शक्तिशाली हूं आई एम पावरफुल आई एम बिकमिंग हेल्दी मैं स्वस्थ हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग हेल्दी मैं स्वस्थ हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग रिच मैं धनवान हो रहा हूं मैं धनवान हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग सक्सेसफुल मैं सफल बन रहा हूं और इसी आनंद को महसूस करते हुए इस रिलैक्सेशन का आनंद लेते हुए ये जानते हुए कि ब्रह्मांड की सबसे बड़ी शक्ति आपके साथ हमेशा है और हमेशा रहेगी अब आप वापस आने के लिए तैयार हैं अब मैं एक से पांच गिनूंगा एक आसपास की आवाजों को सुनना शुरू करें दो अपने शरीर को थोड़ा थोड़ा हिलाना शुरू करें तीन अपने पैरों को मोड़ लें चार अपने शरीर को हिलाएं डुलाएं और पांच ओके गिव बॉडी अ बिग स्ट्रेच full stretch 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 and relax now rub both the palms together then let urja place the warm hands over the eyes and face move palms over the eyes gently massage eyelids blink the eyes few times under the palms in dark slowly slide the hands down gently open the eyes now fold at both the knees we will do udra karshan before we get up so both knees are folded and extend both hands onto the floor 90 degree with the floor now drop both the knees onto the left and look at the right palm now inhale bring the knees back looking into the ceiling exhale drop the knees towards the right and look into the left palm as we exhale So do one more time. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, knees towards left. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, knees towards right. Now come back and roll the body onto the right side. Stay on right for about two to three normal breath. then help of both the palms bring the body up back into any comfortable sitting posture and it's 9 or 2 already so we will still do uh, the anulom vilom pranayam the nadi shuddhi pranayam let's do for 1 minute and we will quickly wrap up the session in about 3 4 minutes 
in Vishnu Mudra, inhale on left, exhale on right, then inhale on right and exhale on left. Left to right, right to left, few times. But try to do deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Complete the cycle when we breathe out on left, then bring both palms on top of each other in a lap, relax the shoulders, back straight, eyes closed. We all together chant three Mahamrutunja Mantra followed by a short meditation. During meditation try to keep awareness at the crown of the head, Sahasrara Chakra, and that will, we will end by one long Omkar chanting and we will do the closing prayer. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukumeva Bandhanan Mrutyor Mukshiyamam Rutat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Eva Bandhanar Mrutyor Mukshi Yamaruta Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Eva Bandhanar Mrutyor Mukshi Yamaruta सर्वे संतु निरामया सर्वे बद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कस्तित दुख बाग भवेत ओम शांति 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 पांच गेंच इधर फ्लेक्स वन हैंड्स ओवर द आईज एंड फेस Open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down, gently open the eyes, rub the palms one more time. Place them on top of the head, back of the head, shoulders, arms, trunk, legs, throughout the body to spread the energy within. Hari Om Tatsat <coughs> Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Vaisi Krishna Good morning, happy Saturday, happy weekend. And our Navratri Nadi Usha Chalu Thijai Chai Le Happy Navratri in advance. 
All right, I will uh, let you guys, I will unmute you guys. So. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. All right. I hope you guys are enjoying. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you. 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 Thank you.